Hello, had people. Did. We no, are you can't keep it. headed Pete. to um <laughs> to go look at some honeybees. I don't know anything about honeybees, but my kids. Kevin yeah, but do and not myself, put your mouth eat, on like, this, okay? Tons of honey. Okay. And Especially it, I, in tea. Yeah, in tea for sure. Um, and it's I just like thought it would be a great idea for us this. to have our own honey. So we're going to go uh, meet with this guy and see, for one, what the honeybees are all about and check out his beehives and maybe come back home with some. It, we'll just see. We'll see. So we're on the way. Snapped out full of bees. Oh, yeah. Okay. I mean, well, this one is too. Oh, they are all there. Some of them just no, have no more than others. Okay. So we got to read these. Some of them may have 12,000 or 15,000 rather than. Oh, coming back to pick it up? You might got nothing to put on? I know. Okay. I got so, yeah, we'll pick today and then <laughs> come back. Yeah, well, I'll get you a bee suit, Slu. Yeah, yeah. And you can come back and oh, pick oh, it up. Look, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just come back with my three hoodies on. <laughs> We were in about two square pairs, oh, about five pair of socks. You won't have to be in any hurry because, I, you know, they, they won't be in the way. Okay. <laughs> and look, I, I, I just take my face mask and just put them all across my face. You know, all over my head, you know. We'll cut some holes off for yeah. the eyes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And then he just has them at the street, too. It's just interesting. Oh, yeah. Ain't nobody coming back here. You, would you go around and be? Uh, uh, let, let the old person go ahead. Oh man, that looks like something worth taking. Okay, right. go ahead. Go, go ahead. Go. go ahead. Go ahead. Look, he got them all. all yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I wonder why they have to be spaced out. Probably so they won't kill each other. Yeah, uh, yeah. That, 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 you're yeah. absolutely right. So would you be getting one or two, Draco? Now I'm thinking we should just get two. <laughs> Burned up, not motor oil or anything, but it can be something she cooks something in. Oh, like oil. The hive beetles, they get on sometimes. The bees run them down and fall down in there. Oh, cool. It's really a good one. Then I got another down here. Uh, that I just made out of uh, 
took some brood and made a new hive from it, mm -hmm. kind of manipulate them a little bit. And, and this is the first year I did that, and uh, mm -hmm. it kind of helped. Uh, yeah. I only had two swarms that I know about, but that don't mean I didn't have three or four. Yeah, yeah. that you just separate? Separate you, them? Yeah, like when you yeah, have you move, on, you move them around. Yeah. That's what you, do. You, oh, okay. you, you may take some that's full of bees, a brood, and move them up to the second box and put oh, some into okay. ones in the bottom so that oh, okay. gotcha. they keep them in right. So they have room to keep expanding. Gotcha. Okay. If you want something that's going to have honey, first I would say the tall one down there and the one around them. End of the building down there. That's exactly what I was and, telling and them. Those. Of course, these gonna have honey, but I don't, I don't think think they got quite as many bees as those have, you know. So. Yeah. But you said the one that you got stung by is a good one to take. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And what was the other? No, I'll do two. I want to take two of them. Oh. Both of those real good. Okay. Probably the best ones we got. Well, that's what I want. Yeah. <laughs> if you're willing to part with them. Well, I, I'm 90 years old. I, I, what? I, I can. I I, 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 so I did not it's think. Man, you look really good for yeah. ninety. Well, I mean, I'll take those two off of your hand <laughs> if you if you want to part with them. Well, well I need less for my. The only reason I'm selling is because I'm got by more than I can. Yeah, I figured that. <laughs> and if you want another two, but I've got four thousand dollars in my all these eyes. Uh, that's that is not, that is not stretching it a bit. That's, that's right. <laughs> okay. Wow, man! And people said, "I'll say it." Country folk live way fucking longer than city folk do. Hell yeah. And uh, his, I mean, he is that man get trucking. Around, yeah. That man get around like he. <laughs> I would have never thought that. I, I just, hope I'm, I'm doing the same thing. Yeah, because yeah. I, I thought like 70. Yeah, me too. Yeah, not 90. So I see why he's silly. Big fat bully. Oh, wow. That, that was pretty. So it looks like he's grown. Like his soil looks good, but looks like it's probably majority like compost. You see how it's black and. Yeah, I see how it's black. Do you think that's compost? That's what they were telling me at the nursery that pretty much people just grow in compost oh like that and not the soil, the soil and, and like all that. that yeah that's probably okay oh look at the bees man this okay. and the butterflies oh my god i need to get some flowers that attract butterflies, butterflies. when i was doing the pictures uh-huh and we saw a ton of i thought y'all was the only big pots up there i'll show you the different kinds okay do they make like different honey Hey, what? I mean, is the honey different? Or? Whatever the bees bring in for what's surrounding. This all should be close to the same, you know. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let me get a jar of my honey out just harvest and let you look at it. Okay. So you, I'll you. be right back. This is so cool. Mm -hmm. Did you going to look at his corn? Yeah. Huh? I see the corn. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yes, oh no. This, this is some of harvest yeah. right. Okay. Ten days ago. Ten I had. Yeah. Some is ready, about 13 frames. Oh, so, uh, wow. this is this this year's honey. Okay. So, uh, but that's what this now it'll probably be darker later on, but this is the uh, honey. So, yeah, honey. Thank you. And, and I got my name on this here. I sell, I sell this for $12 a pint. Oh, so, uh, wow. Uh, well, I mean, I'm doing it for my family, you know, um, just for us to. We just started up our garden and we have like all kinds of fruits and vegetables yeah. but it's just you know for us to you're gonna yeah. have one or two one house start out with one house it's a lot of work to it now i want to tell you yeah i, I gotta start slow well, yeah who's, <laughs> who's gonna do the work collectively oh yeah i really want to all hands on deck mainly she's all really hands. really i really, really wants to. want to oh, okay. yes sir okay uh, there, well, you have to look at them i mean there's not that much all along, you know, and check on them. I get to go into mine every couple of weeks, except during the fall of the year when I you gotta make sure that, uh, just have to see it to make sure you got things to eat for the winter and all that, you know. What do you so, eat, what do, they, what do you feed them? Well, you don't give them, you, you leave the honey, let them make their own honey and leave it, some of it in there for oh, the winter. You leave for a, them you instead leave of a taking whole, it all. 
you leave up but come here I'll show you. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> we got we got some corn too. We have some corn, so we, we just hadn't corn. grown up okay. yet. Oh, yeah. This is what you call the hybrid. That's the main deal for you people. Okay. See, it's got the uh, uh, this size frame. This is where okay. the queen usually lays her eggs and they hatch out from. Sometimes you'll have two of these instead of just one. You've got so many bees. Got twenty to thirty thousand bees in there. Wow. Okay. This is thirty thousand bees. Twenty to thirty thousand. Twenty to thirty thousand seeds. This Whoa. is uh, <laughs> some uh, harvested. Some of these already here. Okay, so they're already in the season. And how long do you let them? Uh, once you bring them in, your frame. How long do you have to let them sit before you take? Do you take the honey off right then? You can let them sit overnight. I put. Uh, the full frames in here, you see. You put eight or ten frames in there. Oh, okay. Over and right. then if you want to. Okay. Then uh, actually, you've got a deal. You run over to open them up. You put them in this. Uh, if you have one of these, if you don't, you can do it. You can just open them, let them drain if you want to. You know. Okay. Uh, this here is, uh, you put it. You put your frames down in here. And it spins it out. Oh, oh I like that. Like yeah. Gotta paint it good before you use it. Yeah, yeah. okay. No, naturally, naturally, you know that. And then it drain it out here. We drain it in a thing that we strain it as it comes out. Then we strain it, double strain it again oh, with oh, cheese cloth. Oh, wait, okay. It took us 10 hours to do those the other day. Okay. For 13 frames. We started at 10 in the morning and we didn't line up until 8 o'clock that night. In my life. So a full day. So okay. It's, I, I, I'm just saying it, it's interesting, but it's work. Yeah. When it comes to harvesting that, but if you're just going to have a couple of hives for yourself, uh, it's not that big a deal. You know? and, that's, and if you want to keep the comb, because you know, that was my yeah. next question. Well, uh, you can, uh, you can uh, slice the comb off, and if you want it, uh -huh. and they'll, it they'll make a new comb. Okay. Okay. Because that's what they like to eat it. Like to chew, they like to chew the comb. Uh huh. Okay, yeah. No, I didn't know he, he likes to chew. Well, I was just saying. Okay. They, a lot, Kevin lot of people like to chew it. it. It's got all that honey in it. Uh, let me show you about it. Okay. I have a quick question for you in regards to like your soil and things like that. Are you growing in what kind of amendments or is your soil amended? It's not good soil. It's clay. A lot of the topsoil is washed off. And exactly. It's, it's not real good soil. What so what do you do to make your stuff grow? I just put a little fertilizer. Fertilizer? In, but uh, the main thing is uh, if you got a good tiller, a tiller or a tractor, fill it up and mm -hmm. This is not a good spot for a garden, but it's all I have. Right. Because you got shade, shade. you know. Mm -hmm. This is the first time I've had corn in years. But I'm getting to the age I'm doing more in pots. Yeah, I notice a, a lot of the pots. It'll be a pot farm. <laughs> pot farm? <laughs> I like it. No, it looks really good. Yeah. Is this a peach tree? Uh huh. Yeah, that's a peach tree. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, that's back. awesome. Look how tall them tomatoes. Be a equipment magazine. You may have one. Have you got one already? No, sir. There's something you have out of. And uh, I'm going to say if you have bees, the best thing you can do is subscribe to the American Bee Journal. American Bee Journal. I'll give. I'll show you a okay, copy of it. Thank you. If you don't jar them around, they're not too bad most of the time. You know? Okay. I don't know what happened this morning to me. They got stung around the legs down there. Oh, I'm oh, <laughs> trying to avoid that at all costs. <laughs> <laughs> Better get you a suit. <laughs> I'm telling you. Something. Oh, you, you'll have to have one of these. Oh, yes. Yeah, you, don't, you don't want them getting under the top and getting under here while you're working. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that, that, sounds like a, that sounds like a new dance. Yeah, you do, do a lot of dancing. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of dancing and a lot of time to get out. I keep water sitting on them sometimes when they drink, you know. Oh. Do you drink water? That's not necessary. I just do that. Okay. Oh. This is what I thought. Oh, wow. You can tell the way he was trying to uh, open it up. Yeah.
to call the supers. Oh. Yesterday I switched those oh. to call one of those fools. Mm -hmm. I'm going to switch it back because uh, my D doesn't fit down on it like a piece of this is, uh, like I said, now there's almost four in a couple of weeks, it'll be ready. Mm -hmm. okay. cap it. They About have to cap how long it does it? You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, he's coming in. He's a follower. He's a follower. Yeah. I'm it out. <laughs> And we were like, what? <laughs> yeah, 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 he kept, yeah, he kept coming. Cause the bees coming with it. I'm just with the same thing. Oh, okay, okay. Come, oh, sorry, Lynn. One, one, one bit you? Yeah, one bit. Oh, one hit in my ear. My ear didn't want to come. My head. head. Oh, there you go. Oh, it's time to ride. <laughs> the bottom box is when you move. Just be. You gotta be careful about so you don't injure the queen or kill them or something like that. Because okay. that's that's how you. Because they'll make a new queen if, as long as they got uh, uh, brood in there. That's where they've laid eggs. And okay. Um, I mean, can you just tell me? I want one of the the best, like the best one. Well, <laughs> to start off with. I mean, I don't, cause I don't, I don't. Well, let me, let me. Uh, some of them just about full of honey now. Is that what you want? Oh yeah. <laughs> But those are more expensive. It's okay. Yeah. And how long are the the hives good for? I mean, but you said once the queen is died, they'll replace no, them. No, they'll replace the queen. Uh -huh. They do it themselves. Okay. Know. Yeah. The bees don't live for forty five days. Dang. Good so wow. That's why they can. Oh, that's why they just keep uh, laying eggs. Yeah. In different cycles. All these bees got different jobs. One, one. It would be nice to get one that's just about ready. But who's gonna do the harvest? I'll, I am gonna do part of it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, that's not, not a big problem, but you need to have some things to replace those with our year if you get the honey out, put those things back in there. And, okay. And uh, the bees will clean up whatever honey you leave on them. These after I harvested honey, I set them out there and let the bees clean them up. Or maybe we should do one that's not ready, ready. Because if you get one that's ready, ready, it means that you're going to have to, to harvest get to soon. it soon. Yeah. So maybe like a couple of weeks from harvesting. Well, they're all that far away. Oh. <laughs> they're all that far away. Uh, oh, okay. June the 15th and July the 1st. Oh. <clears throat> this one right here, it'll take a couple of weeks and fill out that other hive. Uh, the, the, top. Top is, the top one is was full of the top one I took off that I reversed from this time. Okay. It's full of honey, but they don't have it all sealed yet. Oh. They got to seal it. Was they, they dry it before they put the coating over the ceiling. Oh, wow. And uh, cause it, if they don't dry it, it'll go to sugar. Oh, no, we don't want, yeah. yeah. Wow, so, and, that's so cool. Does it crystallize, like if it gets more? If, if you... If they don't seal it off, mm -hmm. get a good dry, uh, it might crystallize. crystallize. But all you got to do is heat it up. Oh, uh, okay. Just heat, it, just heat it up and it takes care of that. I mean, over time, honey will crystallize. Okay. But it's worse if if <clears throat> it's not good and dry before. They're supposed to get it down to 16%, 18% moisture. Okay. The bees, the bees do that. Yeah, okay. Dorica, with a bee. Like Dorica, okay. Yes, okay. You guys have a beautiful home, beautiful yeah. property. Yeah. Well, I'm a, I, I love it. Ow, oh, I'm so sorry. We, cut, we came to get some bees. What? <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, they, they will keep you busy. That's what he was just saying, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They will keep you busy, but they... He really enjoys yeah. it, and yeah. it's, you know, it's Yeah, I, I mean, it may be like, I'm like, like time know. consuming, but I'm like, it keeps you focused on something. I uh -huh. love it. it does. Mr. Oscar, let's get the, that one, the one on the end here, and okay. then the one. I'll, I'll get the different top part. Okay, yeah. Right. Um, but Slu will have to come back and oh, pick yeah. them up. Oh, yeah. Okay, because we won't take them today, but I can yeah. uh, pay for them. Um, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm, oh, I'm bringing, I'm bringing, I'm bringing balls with the ball too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm gonna suit, I'm gonna suit them new kids up. Are you gonna have me shade around the side? Yeah, I'm gonna have to shade around the side. Yeah, I'm gonna have to shade around the side. Yeah, I'm gonna have to shade around the side. Yeah, I'm gonna have to shade around the side. Yeah, I'm gonna have to
We can put them in the shade. We have like some trees. Is that is it better for them to be in shade or? A little bit shady. Okay. Okay. We'll put them across where all that stuff was. Okay. Where all the pallets and things were. Okay. We'll give it hundreds or hundreds. What's wrong, Go. I think it's bad. Oh, well, you for the little honey. Go, little <laughs> but that's yeah, I'm paying for the honey too. Oh, I ate the Um, so we're up here now. The guys are shake a well shearing the alpacas because it's hot as hell out here and they're super hairy and it i guess it, it keeps them from damn near pretty much passing out and by having them sheared it keeps their um it helps them to regulate their body temperature a lot better than they would be able to with all the hair um so we're just making sure that they have a comfortable summer because it gets super, super hot and it's humid. Um, and it's so crazy how I found these guys. Like, I feel like the spirit leads me and guides me on whatever it is that I, I need to do. But so I was actually looking, watching YouTube videos on how to shear alpacas because I was literally going to try to do it myself. And I don't know how I ran across it, but something popped up. I think it's called like alpacashearing.com. And they have these different teams that travel for a couple of months out of the year across the U.S. And they go to different farms and they shear their alpacas for you. And they clip their, um, their nails, which I think is like amazing. Um, so I found them. I hit them up and the lady was like, um, it's kind of like the end of the season. I'm like, I know, like I did not know this is my very first year even like having alpacas. I didn't really know what all went into taking care of them. So it's just a learning process for myself and everyone on the farm. But luckily I found these guys. They were able to fit me on the schedule and they're here getting them right. Um, and I've also learned that a lot of people will sell the the, the shearings, I think is what it's called, really the fur that's been cut off, and people make it into yarn and they use it to make all kinds of stuff, so, learn a lot here.
Whoa! Look at all the ghosts! Yeah, Whoa! Being free, Dark Chocolate! Being free, Dark Chocolate! Oh, look at Johnny! Yeah, Johnny got Sandy! Sandy. <laughs> Sandy's cool. Yeah, she Sandy. Sandy. Uh, yeah, we are going. Y'all yeah, gotta give uh, Mr. Oscar. I, I probably, I may go tomorrow Wednesday because I gotta bring uh, What's that? Isaac to the vet. I mean, to the dog room, and the dog room is like about a couple of miles away from me. So oh, I can okay. drop Isaac off, pick up the bees, come back, and then go back and pick up Isaac. You got your suit? Yeah, because I. Pardon me? Did you get your suit? I'm gonna be ready. I'm gonna be ready. <laughs> Trust me. Oh, Trust me. I might have, have five real clothes, bandanas. I'm, all you're gonna be able to see is this right here. Well, so you I don't get, want him to get through no, there, yeah, so make sure you get a little net. Yeah, if I, if I get beat on the island, that'd be something. Yeah. But I'm, I'm, that'd just I'm be lost. mint in I'm the lost. cards. Yeah, that, that'd be, that'd be for the you may have to rename her Blackie. Who is that? Oh, that's Bertha. That's her daughter. Mm -hmm. She's okay. She's coming back. Oh. It's okay, no. 
bet she's gonna feel way better. She looks so good. Those are like the least counter days too. <laughs> yeah, they have a communal bathroom. Yeah. Yeah, they, 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 that's they, one they, thing they, our packers do. They do yeah, all it, 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 you know, even the, the, even the goats do, do the same in the spot now too. But you'll see the little brown patches, and that's the only places that they go to. Bathroom. So we just did the four of them, and none of them needed their teeth trimmed. Okay. Um, so how do I do? <laughs> yeah, it gets really hard. Thank you guys so much. Absolutely. I guess we'll see you next year. Right on. Thank you for having us out. Really no, appreciate it. No problem. And hopefully we'll have more. I bought only girls because I'm like, this is enough. But I'm like, they're pretty cool animals. So They are cool animals. They're cool to look at. They don't yeah. really like being touched. No, they but don't. If you get an opportunity to work with them and like culture train them and stuff, it's definitely fun to be able to go to shows and do it. Yeah. Like at least for kids and stuff. For right. like the obstacle course. It's always it's always a great time, and then you yeah. know you work with their animals, and they become friendly. My mom's got a couple animals who'll come running right up to you, and they'll right. like, lick your face and kiss you and stuff. That's so awesome. If you train them right, they're very obedient, and they can be very cool animals. Yeah. Oh, we'll have to do that. That's how our camels are, cause they're model babies, and oh, we okay. did. And I've done some halter training with the babies, so they're like that. <laughs> We're just they have packs of like. They're all in the same family, right, so eventually right. they take it in. <laughs> right. You guys just need Llama, Vicuna, and Guanaco, and you got all five. <laughs> what are the others, Vicuna? Vicuna, they're actually a, a Peruvian <laughs> animal. It's very, you can't find them in the United States. Oh, but you I'm can, like. <laughs> you can find like Vicuna, alpaca mix, and that's about the closest thing you can have. Vicuna. And then Guanaco are, yeah, yeah, probably put it by I believe, uh, a little smaller than a llama. No, I think they're the bigger one. It goes camel, guanaco, llama, alpaca, vicuna. That's oh, the size wow. in charge. So there's just the five of them in the camelid family. But llamas are a lot bigger. <laughs> yeah. Taking those they down is fun. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, really like the same way and everything. It's like, oh man. Wow. Uh, they're in the camelid family. So alpacas and camels are in i don't know if it's the species or the, or the genus you remember that shit from yeah. science but the the whatever it is is camelid Got and it. underneath camelid you'll have you have camels alpacas and then there's three other kinds Got the it. llama he said the vicuna and the guanaco they look interesting <laughs> Camels are cooler though. The guanaco, Aww. he said, is right under the camel. It looks like a, it looks like a combination yeah. of like. It looks kind of. Yeah, like maybe an alpaca with a deer and a llama and. <laughs> yeah, it does look kind of like a deer. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. They say, I know you didn't close this thing back on me.